Hey everybody, Brian here, Castle Hives. We are in the apiary. I am looking at one of the horizontal hives here. I have a very important update to do to these horizontal hives. All right, hey y'all. So welcome to Castle Hives. Uh, what we're going to do today to this horizontal hive, now I've got metal sheeting that is going to go on the roof, okay? Um, the corrugated plastic that's on here right now, um, it kind of worked, but then it didn't. Um, it's stapled on, uh, it's starting on my horizontal hive, it's starting to come up. So I need to fix that. Now I'm going to use this as insulation, but I got this metal roofing here that I'm gonna overlap about an inch around each side. And then I also have this metal, uh, this was from siding that I cut strips and I'm gonna put more or less like a flashing around uh, the entire hive as well, just to protect that top wood. So um, this is my first year with horizontal hives. This one here happens to be my mom's um, and I want these things to make it through the winter. Uh, this corrugated plastic that's on here um, probably would not make it through the winter. It would allow a lot of moisture to get in there, and I don't want that. Plus, with this metal uh, and overlapped, it'll just give that drip edge. That way, for the snow, I could just brush it off. Rain, it'll run right off, and it won't pull on here. So there's a benefit there as well. So let me get this work here started. Uh, let me at least maybe get this top here on and I'll do the flashing another day. We're getting kind of late in the evening, but I gotta start this work. So um, let me get this work here started. All right, so very first what we need to do is, well, I got two sheets here. I gotta take one of them off. Uh, and I'm gonna just slide that flashing under. Um, I need to more or less just get a judge for the length on this. So I can see that right there. Now, if I had other cutters, I would definitely use that. But for right now, I've got these snips and I'm just gonna kind of mark that right there and take this down and cut it, okay? I'll probably put this sharper edge. Well, it doesn't look that bad. If there's a sharp edge though, it's gonna to go towards the front. Because on this horizontal hive, we work from the back. So I don't want any sharp edges here. That way we can cut ourselves. So let me get this cut here real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I got this cut. Now I got some roofing uh, screws here. Yeah, they look like they're just gonna be enough. Let me see if I can't get my drill. And uh, get those to tap in. Now I tell you, let me do this first. I'm gonna go around and pre-drill these holes. That way, When those are pre-drilled, that way it'll be easier to uh, work with. All right. I'll get the front in a second here. <clears throat> now I will say also, there are probably others out there that would do 10 times better job than what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just a, a backyard kind of beekeeper guy. 
Man, I wish I had a bit. All right, everybody. So I got the metal roof on. I got the flashing on the sides and the back. Um, I don't know whether I'm gonna put flashing on the front because I have a pretty decent sized uh, overhang up there. There's good three to four inches over the whole front. So that'll block some of the moisture there. Um, what I'm going to do along this lip here also is I'm gonna get some silicone and just to seal that up right there, I'm probably gonna throw some silicone right across the back and then this side up here as well. So just to seal things up here on the top, I left that plastic under there. So there's the corrugated plastic, plus now there's this metal roof on here. Um, I think overall, uh, this update will help this hive uh, over winter. Um, it'll, you know, it'll definitely keep the top more protected. I'll probably have to throw a silicone bead right down there as well on this, uh, you know, seam where the two metal sheets meet up. That way it just seals that so it doesn't pull down in there. Um, I don't want that to pull down in there. And then, you know, over the winter it will expand and pop these screws. So a couple things that I got to do. I got to get that silicone. But um, that's the update here with this hive. Uh, let me move the camera back a second. All right, but that's the update here with this hive. Um, if you want to keep watching updates here, you know, I'll get the other one done. But if you want to keep watching updates, hit the like on the video. It really helps. Subscribe also. Um, follow along as I get these hives through the winter here and then into the spring. So, um, but thank you all for watching. And until the next video.